Alright, hey guys, so this is going to be one of the videos to the Back to School series. Um, this is like how to like make friends, I guess. Um, sorry my lighting's weird, but I'm like in front of my window so it's all natural. And it's making me look orange right here. So, I don't know. Just go with it. <coughs> so, my hand, sorry. So, yeah, this is going to be, like, if, for, if you're moving, like, from middle school to high school or even high school to college or whatever. Or if not, bug, you're simply, like, moving, like, towns. Gotcha. Super bug. And you're, like, starting a brand new school. You don't know anyone, which... I went through that a couple years ago, like two years ago. Yeah, I moved states and I had no idea where anything was. I didn't know anybody. Yeah, it was scary. But I'm going to tell you what I did and what I was comfortable with and how I made friends quickly. Because, yeah, okay. So, better. Okay. So, two years, two or three years ago, I moved in 8th grade. Like, it was a summer between 7th and 8th grade, and I moved to Iowa that summer, which is where I am now, from Indiana. So, I moved from Indiana to Iowa, which is like 7 hours away or something by driving. It'd be like 45 minutes on a plane, but don't want to spend my money for that. So, I moved here. And it's like a really small town in Iowa where I live. That was a really weird accent where I live. But, um, yeah. I mean, now I wish I would have, like, been more outgoing than I was at the beginning. But now I'm, like, fine. Like, no big deal. But what I did, so I moved that summer. So I started the 8th grade year here. And it was kind of awkward it wasn't awkward. No, it was not awkward at all. It was scary. Like, number one tip I have for you is do not be scared. Because they can see fear. Like, no joke. They're like, like I had first block. What was it? It was, what was it? It was history. Yeah, U.S. history. I had U.S. history first block. First period, whatever. We have a block schedule here in Iowa my school so yeah I had US history first period and then like everybody knew I was a new kid like everybody it was bad like ugh. it was kind of embarrassing because they're like oh yeah you're the new kid yeah where'd you come from it's like yeah the new kid has a name it's Sam you know but I went in there and I had a seating chart and I didn't talk like while I was in there, like, I don't know, I was just scared of what people were going to think of me. And so I didn't talk, and then I got a scene chart, and I sat by this really cool girl and this really cool guy. Like, they were, like, best friends, and we were, like, in a corner, kind of, like, in the far corner of the desks. Like, I was here, then the guy was behind me, I was here, then the guy was behind me, and then the girl was beside me. So it was like a 90 degree angle. I don't know how I do that one. It's like a 90 degree angle. Um, don't mind the background if you can hear it. But my sister's crying. She's like, yeah. I don't know. She's a baby. She does that. So yeah, it was really fun. They were talking. And then they started talking to me. And we became really good friends, like, right away. Like, yeah, like. The three of us. So I sat with them at lunch and I made some more friends and then <clears throat> after that I went back to class to another class and I made even more friends. Like it's insane. But I'm really glad I moved like when I did because I know people that move like in the middle of the school year and like people already have like their tables set, like where they sit and you don't want to sit in the wrong person's seat. Because, you know, you don't want to get beat up and you don't want to look bad for stealing Susie's seat and lunch because you didn't know. So, 
yeah, because there was this girl who moved like middle of the year. I'm not trying to scare you, but this girl moved in the middle of the year and she like sat at the wrong table. Like she was gorgeous, like drop dead gorgeous. And she sat down at the wrong table, like no joke, like the bad table. But she sat down there and it just went downhill from there. Like they started like harassing her like while she was in school and then she moved like a month and a half later. But still, it was bad. And, like harassing her and getting bullied and yeah. Oh my lighting's so weird. It's like Oh well. So my tips for you. Okay, that was my sad story, you know. I don't know, I do this all the time, like quote unquote quote unquote you yeah. Okay, ignore that. But ah Yeah. So my tips for you, do not be scared. And like I understand you'll be nervous because you don't know anybody, you know, you like go into a new place. You know, they have different surroundings, different ways of learning, that's for sure, because it was kind of weird the way they learn, because they're like a grade behind, like, they're a year behind in learning from Indiana. So like, I already knew everything they had, like they were doing, but I couldn't be in like sophomore class or freshman classes because like, there wasn't a bus to get from the junior high. I don't know what I'm doing. But to get from the junior high to the high school. So I just relearned everything. And yeah. But I'm just rambling. Okay, so my tips. Okay, don't be nervous. I know it's going to seem scary at first. But, you know, just be outgoing and be true to yourself like be 100% true because you don't want people to think they're liking you when it's not you like there's so many fake people at my school it's annoying like ugh, it's so annoying I just want to like punch them in the throat not really I'm not abusive I always say I can beat up somebody but I've never been in a fight in my life <laughs> Oh well. <clears throat> so just be confident in yourself. Like, act like you know what you're doing, even if you have no idea where you are. Yeah. Just be confident. Be true to yourself. Um. I know I moved to a small school, so everyone knows everyone. But I don't really know what it's like moving to like to a big school. Because I lived, like, in the same town my whole life up until I was, like, 13, I think. So, and then I moved to a small town. So, I wouldn't know what it's like, like, in a reverse situation. But, I guess the tips kind of would stay the same. Just because nobody likes a fake person. Like, uh, you're going to have to, like, if you go in there being a fake person then it's gonna be hard to try to like convince your friends that you're not really that fake person because then they think you're being fake when you're trying to be who you are because they think you already like are the fake person that you try to be so yeah um, there's a car driving by slowly outside my window, and they just completely stared at me. But, oh well. So yeah, just be confident, you know. Don't be nervous, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, just go in there, be confident. I'm, like, repeating myself. But, I'm, like, hitting 9.30 right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. See ya! Oh, um, I hope you guys- Ah! Well, hope you guys liked this video. Um, hope it helped. Um, comment below seeing what else you want to see in the future videos. Sorry I haven't put up a video in a long time. I just started school and got a lot of homework and volleyball practice and band. And uh, yeah, I gotta go now. Bye!